right now it is 6 30 a.m and i did an overnight stay last night i've already fed and walked both of those dogs showered and gotten ready and now i'm driving to my first drop-in visit of the day all right so it's about 7 15 in the morning and i am here with marty and Lucy is under the bushes over there. There she is. What's up, Lucy? What are you doing? I'm doing a 30 minute drop-in visit here with these dogs, and then I have two more drop-in visits this morning before I start picking up for park play day. A lot of people always ask me, what do I do at drop-in visits? And this is what I do. I hang out in the backyard with them. I do whatever, do whatever they need and they want. We'll eat breakfast here in just a minute, and uh, then I'll head to the next house. There you go. Good, Good boy. Hey, Sky. Hey, Sky. What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up, Sky? What's up? So it's about 7.50 in the morning now, and I just got here to check on Sky. We're about to go on a walk around the neighborhood and have breakfast. A lot of what I do as a full-time pet sitter is this. Sit in traffic forever. All right, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'm here doing my morning drop-in visit with Teddy. I always love getting to hang out with Teddy. He's a cool dude. So it's now 10 o'clock in the morning, and I just picked up Colby. He's the golden retriever back there. And then I got Harper about 20 minutes ago. She's the German Shepherd mix here. And we are now going to the dog park. And we'll have a little play group there for two to three hours, depending on who all is there and the weather. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I am here with little baby Fred. Fred's just a few weeks old. He's so cute. He's so cute. Hey, you want a treat, buddy? You want a treat? Yeah. yeah. He's such a good boy. We just went on a little walk and we went and played with the leaves. Harper and Colby at the park for about two hours and got them dropped off and then I got here uh, about 20 minutes ago and uh, this is a 30 minute visit. Alright so it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm back here with Teddy for my second visit with him of the day. So it's about 
about 4 o'clock now, and Peaches and I just went on a walk. Uh, I stopped for lunch between Fred and Peaches. And this will be the last of my midday walks, so after this I'll go back to the dogs that I'm staying with at night time so I can feed them dinner and give them their evening walk. I'll hang out with them for a little while and then I will move on to my dinner time, bedtime rounds. Alright, so it's about 4.45 in the afternoon now, and I'm here with Ness and Tig. This is Ness here, and this one is Tigger. So these are the dogs that I actually stay with at night time. Um, I'm doing long-term care for them while their owner is out of the country. Um, since I wasn't able to get here until 4.45 today, I actually had to have someone come and walk them for me around 11.30 noon today. But I will hang out here with them until around 7. And then I'll start my evening rounds and then be back with them for the night. All right, so it's about 7.30 this evening, and I'm back here at Marty and Lucy's for their dinner time and bedtime visit. All right, so it's now about 8.30 at night, and I'm back here with Teddy for my third and final visit with him for the day. Uh, he'll have dinner and then we'll go on a little walk around the neighborhood and then he'll get a little treat and then I'll finally go back to Ness and Tig where I'm staying tonight and I'll take them on their last walk before bedtime and finally finish my day uh, about 9.30 uh, tonight. So that's what a full day looks like for a full-time professional pet sitter. You can find out a lot more about me and my team of pet sitters um, on our website, badtothebonepetcare.com, and on our Facebook page, and we have an Instagram, badtothebonepetcare, as well. Alright, good night.